So the first step for me was filling out an online form on the Northwest Surrogacy Center uh, website. A few days later, I was on a phone interview with a coordinator and they made the process so easy and they answered any of my questions and they determined if I was a good fit to be a surrogate. After my initial interview with the coordinator, um, we had a Zoom meeting, my husband and I, where we really dove into the process of what a surrogate is. Uh, we got all of our questions answered um, and they definitely took their time to explain what the expectations were and what surrogacy for me would look like. So after our Zoom meeting, um, then I had to put in a little bit of work, which was let um, Northwest Surrogacy Center uh, obtain my medical records of my four previous pregnancies. Um, and we also had to schedule a psych evaluation for my husband and I, which honestly, psych evaluation does sound intimidating, but in reality, it's not. Um, the counselor um, did not make us feel um, any sort of way. They definitely were nice and understanding and we had a great time. So after the psych evaluation, I was approved and I was so excited. And then we started talking about what type of family I would um, love to be matched with. So um, I was sent a profile and I absolutely could imagine us just being the best of friends. So of course I said yes to this beautiful family. I worked with um, a lesbian couple who had been trying for over 13 years to have a baby. And so I just felt like it was just such a blessing to be a part of that experience for them. And um, we are still in contact. Um, they just texted me yesterday that baby got a first tooth. So that's so exciting. And it's just something that I hold close, very hard, very close to my heart. <laughs> After the match was confirmed, I traveled to a fertility clinic in San Diego uh, where they did a uterine evaluation, which was very seamless and painless. Um, my partner and I got to go and spend some time in San Diego as well. Um, and at the same time, uh, we were drawing up our contracts with my own attorney and just to make sure that, you know, my best interest was protected as well, which was very important for my husband. And um, then afterwards, after the contracts were signed from both parties, um, I got to join a Facebook group. Um, from Northwest Surrogacy Center, which was an amazing support group for my surrogacy pregnancy. So after the visit with the uh, fertility clinic, um, I got a medication schedule and I got my IV meds mailed to me. Personally, I um, had to do shots for 12 weeks. Um, it just depends on your fertility clinic. And they were not that bad. I did them myself. Um, my husband was just watching me for support, um, but I pretty much did them myself and um, I did not have a bad experience with them. And I mean, they weren't necessarily enjoyable, but it's something that it was definitely doable. So for the next step, um, we got to do the embryo transfer, which was a very exciting part for me. Um, we traveled to San Diego, my husband and I, and we got to explore a little bit of the San Diego. We, we did the embryo transfer, which was quick, it was painless. And then I just got to lay in bed all day and just eat and knock out on the TV. So that was, that was fun. As a mom of four, I needed that break. <laughs> So after the embryo transfer, um, then we get some blood work done just to make sure that the pregnancy is progressing how it should. Um, in my experience, um, after the 10 days, I did have a positive pregnancy, which was very exciting to share with my intended parents. So after the pregnancy was confirmed, now it is basically time to just enjoy my pregnancy. I personally have had, you know, pretty, easy healthy pregnancies so i just enjoyed um eat, giving into my cravings eating what i really wanted to eat um any you know medical uh bills that i happened to have were submitted straight to the agency which they completely took care of um my um intended parents did visit when i was closer to the 30 week mark which was really nice to get to know them and kind of enjoy this later part of the pregnancy together and you know we would do weekly facetimes and things like that which helped our relationship and um but it was just time to enjoy the pregnancy 
So now we get to, I think, the most exciting and rewarding part, which is the delivery of the baby. Um, so being able to hand over the baby to the intended parents was everything and more than I could have ever hoped for. It was such a rewarding experience. It was honestly a little bit magical. It's like you finally brought this baby Earthside to the parents' arms. And um, I was able to hold the baby quite a few times within their hospital stay. We, I even went to go visit them while they were still in town. Um, my children got to hold the baby. My mom got to hold the baby. My sister got to hold the baby. So it, it, it just kind of solidified that, you know, we were all in this together and just had all shared such a magical and, you know, spiritual journey of, you know, being able to complete a family.